Hello, Kerry here. I'm just quickly doing um, a short recording on a tip that I'm going to pass on. I opened my booklet up um, earlier on and some of the pages that I've recently painted in acrylic stuck. Um, this page in particular, it really got stuck. And that can happen sometimes and it can ruin your painting because the, the layers peel off. So what I have done is I went and got some of this stuff that does the trick for me. This. It's just shoe polish and it's the clear shoe polish. This is what it looks like. It's basically uh, petroleum wax and turpentine. It smells delightful. I love the smell of turps. It's proper turpentine as well. And so basically I rub it on and then I let it soak in for a bit. And I'm going to do all my pages just so this book doesn't get ruined. Now you could just concentrate on the areas that have the paint on and not worry about the paper bits or the cloth bits if, like me, you have all sorts in there. But I'm going over it thoroughly, just to be on the safe side. So I just smush it on very thinly and rub it in as I'm going. I'm even putting it over these watercolour bits because it does deepen the colour a little bit actually. I've done several pages. It does smear the oil pastel a little bit, I notice there. Let's move that out. And was, this is where it was sticking on the inside. That's the place to pay particular attention to, is in the gutter area, because that's where it's going to stick. Well, it does on mine anyway. I'm going to do this page. There's like a person there, I've just realised. <laughs> And that feels kind of textured, so that's kind of difficult to do. I don't know why it's feeling textured. I think I did put some clear gesso on it. And that may not stick. This page I've already done once, so I'm going to go over it a second time. And you can see a bit of a sheen already. It's happening. It does, build, it does give a little bit of a sheen, which is quite nice. It's better than using acrylic varnish, and it's better than using Mod Podge. I know some people use that, because they just stick. PVA glue will stick. Don't use those. This method is the best. If you haven't got any of the wax, you can actually um, use bees, make your own melts and beeswax in some turps. Or use greaseproof paper in between the leaves. I do that quite a lot. And you need to be sure that you're not going to work on those pages again because it will be harder to stick things down once it's got the layer of wax on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the beginning. This is soaked in a little bit and now I'm going to buff the wax and it brings up a bit of a sheen and removes the excess. This page had stuck. Oops, I damaged one of my leaves. Let me stick that down. <laughs> so I hope this is a handy hint for anybody who doesn't know what to do when they get sticky pages. Oh dear, I'm rubbing more of the oil pastel off there. <laughs> I can always go and touch that up later. I can, apply, I can apply oil pastel on top, no problem. It's just sticking things down would be difficult. You could really see the sheen on that now. I used to do uh, beeswax collages and occasionally you have to take them out of the picture frame and give them a buffing to bring the colours back out. I 
pronounce it. So now the pages won't stick. I hope this has helped anybody who uh, doesn't know how to do this. As I say, it's just simple. Kiwi, I've always used Kiwi. <laughs> Shoe polish in the neutral colour. Let me know if this helps you. I would like to know if someone's tried this and they're happy. <laughs> oh, it feels better already. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.